Ladies and gentlemen, back. Hit that like button, subscribe. Man, as y'all know, this past Sunday, Kobe Bryant and his little daughter Gigi and seven others lost their life in a helicopter crash. And we had a lot of outpouring, people praying for the family. Because it was a tragedy, you know. Uh, last few years or whatever, we've been watching Kobe on the sidelines of NBA games with his daughter. So a lot of people out there feel like, you know, they know those people. They have um, a feel for them. And early on in that day when I saw it, the first thing came to my mind, I said, Wait till the feminist women, the white feminist women, get a hold of this. Because they going to go straight nuclear on Kobe on this. And so probably out of one or two hours go by. And I start seeing all of these tweets from all of these white feminist women. And I said, this is was also part of the Me Too movement where they didn't have to have a conviction. They was can, you know, people finding people guilty in public opinion. And with Kobe, the thing that's crazy with Kobe is that the girl, like three, four days before Kobe was arrested, she was out bragging to her friends about having sex with Kobe Bryant and Kobe always stated that he felt them having sex was consensual and he found out later that she didn't that's what he said but what was crazy to me about this is that I've said many times that white feminist women uses feminism to cover up their racism towards men of color and specifically black men so, not only, and I'm not saying that I don't think they should have brought up the allegation that was made against Kobe Bryant. No, that's not what I'm saying. But, they was, people was out there celebrating this man's death, man. That's what they was doing. Saying they was happy that he was dead. That a rapist got what he deserved. And this was similar to um, what we saw with Nate Parker, where there was no conviction, didn't go to jail. He was actually acquitted. Kobe pretty much just paid off uh, the alleged victim so to make it go away because he, at the time he was in the playoffs. He was going to court every day. And... You paying all of these attorneys, and he wanted to fight for his freedom, but due to the um, advice for it from his legal counsel, they was telling him like, "Hey, man, you just need to pay this off to get it to go away." Because now you know he lost his deal with I think was it Adidas? Or, yeah, I think it was Adidas at the time. He had lost that deal, and he was losing money. And they just told him like, "Hey, do this to go ahead and get this case over with." But this happened, like, I think 17 years ago. And one of the young ladies, Rachel Woods, I think her name is, she was out talking about how Kobe was a rapist and all this stuff. So you look up her history and you see that she's a huge fan of David Bowie. And it's like, man, these people are so hypocritical, right? How do you smash on Kobe for a rape allegation when David Bowie was out there having sex with a 15-year-old but applauding David Bowie? Talking about she, he's one of her favorite artists of all time. But it was so many of these people that were just going in. Like this man, family, um... Got three other children, have his wife, have his parents, all of his friends, 
And the first thing they go in, not bringing up the rape allegation, but no, saying that Kobe Bryant is a rapist and he got what he deserved. He got what he deserved. And see, this is the type of stuff that people start to look at the left wing in this country and they hate the left. Because they convicting people in a court of public opinion and then become just as hateful as the people who they say they going at to wish death to wish death on someone and be happy that someone died. They may have a wife and three other children at home. And then they don't take into account that his little daughter was in there. Gigi. At all. So the white feminist day was going off. And then you had the blue check, the black influencers. This woman named Allison, she was on NSNBC. And she said, um, the Los Angeles knickers. But she said that she was trying to say she got confused with the New York Knicks and the Los Angeles Lakers. So she said Nakers. Now, I'm not fit to sit up here and tell you I know she said it. She said nigger or she didn't. But one thing I'm not fit to do, I'm not fit to get and tell you that she didn't say nigger. That's for her to figure out. That's for her to explain. But all of these people's out here throwing on their cake for this woman. They don't know her history. They don't know any of that. But they coming out here to her defense. And see, when you come out to people's defense like this, you can end up making yourself look like a damn fool when people start looking back into those people's histories and finding out that, nah, it has some racist shit in their history. And we know as black people, it have been a history of white people, racist white people doing stuff like that. When they used to call Martin Luther King Jr., Martin Luther King Jr., Martin Luther King, Martin Luther Coon, excuse me. And then be like, oh, no, no, I made a mistake. I mean, King, I mean, King. They were doing stuff like this forever. And it seemed that a lot of black people, they going at the black people who were saying, no, man, this was racist. And forgetting all about this history of, no, this history of white people doing this. It's a history of it. That's why black people get offended when they see it. It ain't just black people being outraged about something just for being outraged. No, they get outraged because they didn't see white people do this. Many times through history. So this is going on. And you think, okay, this was this was Sunday. Oh, we haven't heard from the black feminist women on this. What are they angle going to be? Because white people then went the angle of calling Kobe a rapist. So what angle is the black feminist women going to come from? And I, they ain't even feminist women, by the way. They messengers. Know what angle they take? They take the angle of, look how Kobe dated this Latino woman. And now all his money going to be left to her. It's like really That's that Like Nine people lose their life In a terrible accident And the first thing you start doing Is watching Kobe Bryant's pockets And bringing up that he has a Latino wife Who's gonna get the money Forgetting that He got those three Black children Kobe Mom Dad Go get some of that money. And and two, I don't know why it is that we as black people sometimes, we talk like if a black person get money, they just going to help black people. No. They're going to help themselves. 
You got Oprah Winfrey. You have all the NBA players. You have all of these people with all of this money. And y'all sitting around like, nah, man. Those dude got the black. Why? They, they, you know, that money going to be left and they going to go back. Nah, y'all ain't worried about black people. Y'all worried about some black woman being able to have some money from some black dude. That's what you worried about. And it get to a point in this country, bro, where with some sisters out there, black men are not loved unless we dead or we got some money, bro. That by the only time they give a damn about black men. And when we shot down by police, are we some celebrity who got some money? And this is why every time you see all this foolishness, people talking about black men and dating outside of their race, what you see there is they ain't talking about your normal, regular black dude because they don't care nothing about those black dudes. When it comes to those black dudes, they talking about they ain't dating down. And love don't pay the bills. But they pay attention to these athletes and entertainers. And they see them with their white partners, Latino partners, or Asian partners. And they start generalizing about all black men because of it. The black men don't love black women. No, you're just focusing on these entertainers. And it's the reason why you're focusing on these entertainers, by the way. And the reason why you focus in on them is because of money. The money that they have. That's what you want. It has nothing with you loving the actual black dude. It's just you want to be with the money. And, and it was just crazy to see this. Like, this is what y'all talking about, man. And also, like, they was reading the reports about, um, they were talking about how the crash happened. And it was like, LAPD said that they had went out and flew earlier, around 7.30, and they thought it was too foggy to be flying. But the pilot for Kobe had got permitted to fly. And they said he starts circling the tower for about 15 minutes. And then he went north. And I guess that's when he starts going towards uh, the mountains in Calabasas. But as he started going north, he starts to go up. So the fog became thicker there. And he started going through those mountains and... I guess he thought he had a right of way, that it wasn't enough fog, and then he hit a big section of fog and didn't know where he was, and the blades hit the mountains, and they crashed. And I said, man, we didn't lost a lot of people. Um, and these plane crashes and stuff like that. Otis Redden died very young uh, on a plane, terrible weather. And we had a Aaliyah. Similar, I think it was James Brown, by the way, that was trying to tell uh, Otis Redding not to get on that plane that night. I think it was James. Not sure. But one of the things I thought about with these planes, I was thought to myself, I'm like, when the last time I saw like a bird that was out flying when it was snowing, or bird. When it was sleeping or foggy out. When have I seen birds out like that? I don't think I recall that. Do y'all recall seeing birds and shit? No. I seen birds out after the snow was down on the ground. Or once it stopped raining. But I don't remember seeing birds in my life out flying in goddamn snow. And sleet and fog and rain. Man, y'all hit, hit me up in the comment section, man, and let me know if y'all seen that shit, ever seen that happen. Because if they ain't doing it, why the hell we be out there in planes and shit and choppers in this type of weather, man? And, but it was a sad story. And I think like, people were talking about how, you know, they didn't know how people can have that connection. I wasn't a huge Kobe Bryant fan. I'm a Miami Heat fan myself. So I wasn't a huge Kobe fan, but I respected him. For all he did 
uh, in basketball in his career. Oh, five championships. And so I respected that about that man, man. And um, to just see people trashing him. And then I see people, they were saying that Kobe Bryant ain't never did anything for the black community. And I was like, no, he gave books to LeBron school. LeBron school was uh, predominantly black. He gave $1 million to an African-American museum in D.C. And then him and his wife, Vanessa has the Kobe and Vanessa Foundation that raises money and spend money on found, uh, youth, teaching them trades and stuff like that. And I'm like, what are y'all folks talking about, bro? And I was like, these people wasn't even waiting. Not even not even a day. They was out here assassinating dude character, man. Within an hour or two of him dying. I said, this is just crazy. But I said, the white feminist, though, I knew. I knew the white feminist was going to show they behind. Like, I said it before they even started. I was like, nope. These white feminists, they finna go off about this. And you had so many people, by the way. I remember with... Eddie Murphy, he was out talking about apologizing for jokes that he had made in the 80s. I was like, man, do y'all cats not see? Like, they don't say anything about Elvis Presley when he was out there raping them little children. He was out there having sex with them little children, calling them his little cherries. David Bowie, Monthly Crew, none of them. Molly Crew wrote in their book about how they raped a girl on tour. You see nothing from these white feminists on this stuff. And by the way, like 54% of white women voted for Trump. This dude had 20 rape allegations against him. Nothing, but... With Kobe, they say, oh, you guys are protecting the rapists. We trying to, we trying, y'all protecting the rapists. Now, if Kobe went to jail and came out, you can call Kobe a rapist. But there was no conviction. Nothing. So it's just crazy, man, to see how people reacted to the death of this dude. But those blue check black folk, them influencers, man. I said, they was out here caping for this white woman. I was like, dude, I'm not touching this. I'm not finna come out here and defend her, and I'm not finna come out here and nail her uh, to the cross. I said, she gonna have to deal with the black people who going there, partner. But they was all out here. Yeah, I, I don't think she said it. I don't, I don't think she meant this, and I don't think this. I'm like, bro, come on, man. Let that white woman deal with this. Because if something happened with somebody black, they wouldn't be coming to their defense at all. So stop coming for coming to these people's defense on everything that they say and do. All right, people, hit that like button, subscribe. 